Before we go back out to Randy at Yankee Stadium, a little nostalgia as we wait for the outcome of Game 5 of the ALCS. Yep, we're going to go way back to the 1960s when the Astros were the Colt 45s and when they played in Colt Stadium. Our Brandon Walker joining us live at Minden Maid Park with a flashback to Houston's first baseball stadium. Brandon? <laughs> Yeah, Bill, we're talking about a long, long time ago, also a moon or two away from the conditions we have here at Minute Maid Park. It's uh, quite good compared to how things used to be for the Colt 45s, as they were called. Right now here at Minute Maid, we're joined now by uh, Dad Jason, his sons, James and Jet. Y'all enjoying the game today? Yeah! Yes, yes, sir. That's awesome. So, yeah, it's October, so it's much cooler outside. But, hey, if we were here, say, in, I don't know, July, maybe June, where it's much hotter in Houston, you've got the cover here, you've got air conditioning here. Same was the case at the Astrodome. But from 1962 to 1964, the Houston Colt 45s played at Colt Stadium. Conditions, well, more humbler than this. Johnny Edwards, my catcher, and, and uh, Doug Rader. Pages from a pastime's history line the walls at the home of Astros great Larry Durker. Jose Cruz, one of my favorite guys. Durker served as team manager from 1997 to 2001, but he pitched for the team, too. I was 17 years old when I got there, fresh out of rookie league. Then the Astros were known as the Houston Colt 45s. Yes, after the gun and before the eighth wonder of the world, home was Colt Stadium. Durker played one game there, his first for Major League Baseball, September 22nd, 1964. I didn't think I was going to get the pitch, but my birthday came up on the 22nd. And so I guess they had an idea that they might be able to promote it, and, and so I got the pitch. Let's find the article here. Major League Baseball in Space City, says memorabilia collector Todd Nelkin, yeah. marked a home run for Houston. 25,271 see Houston wallop the Cubs a National League debut. His home, oh, a museum here. showcasing okay. those early days. That's a ticket to the very first game. There's Colt Stadium. Look, it was built shadeless. Shadeless, hot, and a mosquito trap made Colt fans diehards and players ready for anything. The Colt Stadium didn't even have a canopy over it. You know, I'm not sure how they even designed an open air stadium in Houston without some sort of shade. Shade or not, it was home, temporarily at least, overshadowed to the north by what became the Astrodome. It was so hot and humid here, and I remember that. Larry Durker says he doesn't have many memories from Colt Stadium since he pitched one game there. He'll leave those, he says, to other team vets. My view of it is different from the veteran players. Veteran players are probably looking across at the Astrodome, which was under construction, and thinking, boy, it's going to be nice to get some AC. Yeah, it's really a cool story, but by the 1970s, Colt Stadium had become a tax liability for the county. There was a lien placed on it, so parts of it were sold to a team in Mexico, but the legacy still lives on in the story that has become the Houston Astros and one heck of a season we're experiencing right now. We are live tonight at Minute Maid. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.